In today's video, we're going to take a look at AI Server, a free self-hosted unified API for interacting with a large variety of AI models and services, including most major LLM APIs, OpenRouter, Olama instances, comfy UI workflows, and much more. We've built AI Server as an open source tool to give developers a way to build their systems against APIs that are not only familiar and easy to use, but also that remain in their control by self-hosting. AI Server acts as the unified entry point with typed client support for 11 different languages, API key access control, live background jobs monitoring, and much more in a flexible solution with an easy to use installation. It also supports integration with a Comfy UI agent that enables the ability to use the powerful workflows of Comfy UI with a more simplified, consistent API for common AI tasks like text to image, speech to text, text to speech, and others. Today we're going to walk through the installation process and features of AI Server so you can quickly assess if it's something that could be useful to you. The first thing you'll need to do to get started is to clone the AI Server repository, which is on GitHub under servicestack forward slash AI hyphen server. Once you've cloned this to your local folder, you can change directory into the AI Server folder you've just cloned and run cat space install.sh pipe bash. This will run a friendly installer that will automatically detect common keys like Anthropic to then automatically add into the AI server as a provider. You can also provide API keys during the installation for Open Router, which provides a huge range of LLMs, OpenAI, Mistral, Google Cloud, Grok Cloud, and Replicate.com. Replicate will act as a media provider, enabling the ability to generate text to images using models like Flux Pro. OpenAI can also be used to generate images through DALI and text to speech using their sophisticated voice models. Once you've added all your providers, you'll be then prompted to create an auth secret. This will be used to access your AI server's admin UI. Once you've finished providing all these details, they will be saved to a .m file so you can review them before you first start your AI server. As well as acting as a single OpenAI compatible entry point for all your LLM integrations, AI Server also enables simple APIs for other common modalities, including text to image, image to image, image to text, image upscaling, speech to text, text to speech, and others. All of these modalities are then able to be run on your own self hosted Comfy UI agent, which we have containerized for ease of deployment. Like running LLMs, these modalities generally require specific hardware like NVIDIA GPUs to run in an optimal way, and we've designed the installation process of the Comfy UI agent so it can be easily installed on separate hosts and prompt you to register with your own running AI server to act as a media provider. All chat and media providers can be changed and configured through AI Server's admin portal, which is located at forward slash admin. By default, AI Server will run on localhost 5006, and here you can access the admin portal using the configured auth secret which you set during the installation. From here, you can configure your AI providers, generate API keys for your application integrations, monitor and review the history of the background tasks, which perform all the processing with your configured providers, and test out your integrations using all these built-in UIs. Walking through those UIs, we first have the chat UI. This can be used to test out the different AI providers you have configured, and the model dropdown at the top left will be populated based on those AI providers. Here you can specify a system prompt to steer your chat, and you have a history on the right hand side. Next we have the text to image UI. This uses your configured media providers like your own Comfy UI agent, Replicate.com, or OpenAI's DALI. 
Again, you can steer your generation using the positive and negative prompt, specifying resolution, image count size if you want to perform batch requests, and tag to better be able to group requests visible within your background jobs monitoring. An AI prompt generator is also able to assist you generating prompts for your text image tasks using your own configured AI providers. And again, you have a history on the right hand side. You can preview them in this UI and download them as well. Next, we have the image to text UI, which uses your configured comfy UI agent to describe the provided image using the Florence 2 model. Next, we have the image to image UI, which can transform an existing image by providing a prompt. This will also use your comfy UI agent to use an in painting like workflow with an XDXL model to alter the image. More denoising here will specify how much the image will be altered by your prompts. Upscaling takes an existing image and doubles its size using an upscale model running on your configured comfy UI agent. Speech to text will use OpenAI's Whisper model via your configured comfy UI agent to convert an audio file to text and timestamped text, which can be useful for generating subtitles or other similar tasks where timing is important. Text to speech can either use your configured comfy UI agent again, or OpenAI's own hosted service using their voice models to generate spoken audio based on the text you provide. Welcome to ServiceStack AI Server. And all of the UIs you see here are powered by APIs running on your AI server. And this includes the OpenAI compatible chat API, which are accessible using service clients in 11 different languages, including C Sharp, TypeScript, Python, Dart, PHP, Java, Swift, and more. These clients give you a typed end-to-end -end experience thanks to language-specific DTOs which themselves can be reused directly with Olama and other OpenAI compatible APIs. You also get to choose from sync and async endpoints which include a web callback feature for a more event-driven integration with your applications. AI Server gives you the control and flexibility of self-hosting while maintaining the ease that you would expect from a cloud service. The project is actively developed and available on GitHub, and there are links in the description to the GitHub project along with the documentation. And as always, thanks for watching.